Good morning, welcome to my laboratory. What you're looking at here is the secret of DPDT. Once again, put to use and revealed to the unsuspecting world. Here we have Manny, the manual MOSFET oscillator, being supplied with its normal 12 volt power supply. Um, We've developed this circuit over the past several videos in the MOSFETs How Do They Work uh, series. Basically there's a single MOSFET here that is allowed to charge either through a fixed resistor or a variable resistor or the positive side of this potentiometer the gate capacitor is augmented by a reservoir capacitor here. This capacitor charges up over 4 volts and then discharges under 4 volts either through this discharging resistor or through the discharging portion negative side of this potentiometer. So the gate voltage to this MOSFET is fluctuating up and down around 4 volts. It's turning on and it's turning off and it's turning on and it's turning off. And that MOSFET gate, or rather, that, that MOSFET gate charge building up and going down, building up and going down, is opening and closing the drain source channel of this MOSFET like a valve. It's not opening it abruptly and shutting it abruptly like a switch. It's opening it and closing it slowly, opening and slowly. And that slow opening and slow closing is directly driving this MOS, this uh, little light bulb here. You can see that I've got it turning on relatively fast and turning off a little bit more slowly. The output of this MOSFET is also driving this little 2N2222A transistor right here, which is wired as a relay driver, which is then driving this single pole double throw relay right here which is what is controlling the MOSFETs charge discharge cycle when the relay is in one position the MOSFETs gate is charging when the relay is in the other position the MOSFET gate discharges so this relay is driving the MOSFETs gate which is controlling the drain to source valve that drain to source valve is controlling the light and the 2N2222A transistor inverting the signal which is then driving the relay so we have a three element feedback loop here going on we have the MOSFET gate voltage going up and down over over 4 volts and under 4 volts because this reservoir capacitor is being charged or discharged by the relay opening and closing the relay opening and closing is being driven by this 2222A transistor which is being driven by the MOSFET so there's your little feedback loop okay the light is just indicating what's going on I and uh, the also the rate of change if you will of that feedback loop I can charge and discharge very slowly if I like, or faster, or at a fixed rate. Oh, sorry, where's the fixed rate? It's this one. Fixed rate. Or I can charge the gate fully to the full 12 volts and leave it on and then I can allow the discharge to occur again but since the gate was charged to a full 12 volts it's going to take it a little bit longer to discharge and start flicking the relay again I think Do we have the discharge yet? That should be, should be discharging. 
it's got 33 microfarads there you go see there so the gate discharged now because it was charged to a full 12 volts by this by this switch going over to the left and then it took that long for that full 12 volts to drop back down to the 4 volt fluctuating level once we released the charge input to the gate and now it's back oscillating again at the fixed rate and then I can go to the variable rate here where the oscillations are controlled by this rheostat. Okay. Now all that was developed before as part of MANI, the manual MOSFET oscillator. What I've done now is I've added the magic of DPDT to the output of MANI. So now what's going on here is I've just made this second little board and just screwed it right to the output terminals uh, of Manny. And it has uh, uh, Manny's drain to uh, source output is now driving the coil of this little double pull, double throw relay here. Okay. And that's, that's through this wire and this wire going into the coil. Okay. And then I also have a DC input to the relay and then uh, an AC output from the relay. So you can put in whatever voltage you like here within the limits of the relay contacts and have it change to a switching AC voltage at whatever frequency you desire within the limits of the relay. And by changing the value of this capacitor you can get quite long, very, very long delays as I think you probably saw earlier. Okay, now what I've done now is I've simply put a little dropping resistor in here and used Manny's positive out or positive rail, which is at 12 volts, through a little dropping resistor, and then the negative is over here connected through this black wire to Manny's negative uh, rail as well. So we're we're taking Manny's supply bus voltage and putting that into the DPDT board which is then being switched by the relay uh, on a signal from the MOSFET Manny manual oscillator to produce a AC output from the DC input. Now as you can see we're going up from plus to minus, plus to minus based on the time delay of the voltage fluctuating up and down around 4 volts through that capacitor. Or rather the reservoir charge on that capacitor is fluctuating up and down 4 volts and controlling the MOSFET gate that way. Now, I've got ordinary positive red LEDs here that respond to a positive current flow and I have some special negative green LEDs here that only respond to a reverse negative current flow. Okay, right? <laughs> and anyone can see that that's exactly what's going on. We have positive current and negative current. Positive, negative, based on DC inputs. These are just hooked directly to the DC battery. Um, and so any circuit that requires or plus or minus just about any voltage uh, swinging according to a time schedule that you establish, fast or slow, can be performed with this circuit with, oh, I guess there's probably about $15 worth of parts in there now. This little relay is $2.50 from uh, any number of suppliers on the internet. It's a 6-volt double-pull, double-throw relay. Here's one right here. Can you read the part number? No. Hang on. Hang 10. Okay, there you go. DS2E-S-DC6V and the uh, coil rating and contact rating is there 
it fits a dip socket and that's what I've done there. I've just stuck it into a little dip socket that I've wired. You can unplug it if you want to. Plug it back in. Okay. It's as easy as pie. The magic of DPDT. Yeah! Thank you for watching.